Number 11, components of some computers communicate with each other through optical fibers having an index of refraction of n is equal to 1.55. What time in nanoseconds is required for a signal to travel 0.2 meters through such a fiber? So in order to find time and if I know distance, right, I'm, I'm thinking that, hey, maybe if I know the velocity, right, I can then solve for the time. So the question to myself is how do I know or how can I calculate the velocity of this light ray if I know the index of refraction? Oh, right. Index of refraction is simply a ratio between the speed of light in a vacuum and then the speed of that light in a particular medium. In this case, we're talking about optical fibers. So we need the index of refraction of an optical fiber, and then we can find the velocity of that light ray in the optical fiber. Now, to solve this for V, just simply do a little cross multiplication. Don't bring half the equal sign with you, though. So now all we need to do is basically just plug in the values. Speed of light is 3 times 10 to the 8. The, I don't know what that is and then divide it by now the index of refraction. They told it to us right there in the problem. So let's simply do the division as I throw my calculator all over the place. 3 times 10 to the 8 divided by 1.55. And we get a value here of about 1.94 okay, times 10 to the 8 meters per second. So it's not exactly the speed of light. It's slower. Cool. Now that I know the velocity, I can then do my, what I wanted to do before, right? Finding the time, all I would simply have to do again is kind of cross multiply this on out. Okay, great. I got my t is equal to the distance, 0 0.2 meters. Those are good. I got my meters per second down here. That's fine, right? 1.94 times 10 to the eighth. Let's find the time. And then this is going to be 0.2 divided by that exact answer. So that's about 1.03, 1.03 times 10 to the minus ninth meters or AKA 1.03 nanoseconds. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I hope that helped. Check out some more of our videos. We also got pre-calculus and chemistry out there, solve solutions. Take a look at the OpenStax books. Find problems that are similar to the ones you might have. And there you go. Problem solved. Take care.